All right, welcome. So I'm Darren Bell. I'm going to be uh, doing a walkthrough of an assignment in the course. There was a student that requested this walkthrough, and so um, I'm going to go ahead and post this out there so others have access to this as well. So this this particular problem is exercise 4-5 which is actually the fourth question on the exercise problem set. So uh, this is a problem about updating the capital balance and closing, or well, I should say closing the, um, the books, closing the accounts, and updating the capital balance. Okay, so basically it's walking through the four steps of closing, which are the, the first step here, step one, is to close the revenue accounts. As we look through these accounts, we see that we have uh, a couple of revenue accounts. These first two t on top here. So interest revenue and service fees earned. Those are both revenue accounts. Revenue we know is, um, they are uh, debit uh, or credit, sorry, credit, normally credit balance accounts, right? So revenues are normally credit balance and therefore uh, these balances, as stated above, are, are credit balances. And so to close them, we have to debit them, right? Exact, equal, and opposite will close them. And so if we debit each of those accounts, the revenue accounts, by the balance, then it will zero out the accounts and close them. We're closing them to an account called income summary. This is just a, a, a holding account used for closing. Right, so it's gonna go and we're gonna park this $100,000 worth of revenue in the income summary account in step one. Step two, we do the same thing for expense accounts, but the expense accounts are a little different because they are uh, debit balance accounts, right, normally. And so we have our uh, expenses here, these one, two over on the left and one down here on the bottom, uh, or yeah, on the bottom right there. And uh, so there's three of them. Uh, they are debit balances. So in order to close them, we will credit all three of them here. And the balance of these three accounts, we're going to uh, close into income summary. Income summary is gonna be the account we park all of our revenue in and our uh, expenses in at this point. So we see this income summary down here. We see $100,000 worth of revenues in there. And then these are all of our expenses. The balance, because of these uh, two first two steps of closing, the balance in the income summary is now 39,800. The balance in our revenue accounts and our expense accounts are zero. Hopefully that's the idea, we're closing them out. And now step three is to close this account out. We see here it is a credit balance, which means we have more revenues than expenses, right? So credit balance of 39,800. Uh, therefore, in order to close that account, we're going to debit it for 39,800. We see that right here in step three. We're closing this account to the capital account. Okay. Um, and, and so all of our, basically this is our net income, right? Revenue minus expenses is gonna be parked into our capital account with this closing entry. And then, um, we see down here at the bottom, we're gonna step, skip step four for now. We see down at the bottom, the capital account is shown down here. We see a opening balance. This opening balance is going to be from all the way on top here at the beginning of the problem, it gave us the balance, right? For the capital account, 22,000 credit balance. So that's gonna be what we start with in the capital account. And then right here, we're adding in step three, additional income, net income, which will increase the capital account. Now, the final step in the closing process is step four. Step four is where we close the withdraw account to capital. So um, the owners withdrew, right, from the business and normally that's a debit balance, right? So withdrawals are going to be similar to uh, our expenses, right? So in equity, expenses and withdrawals are both debit balances. 
And so to close that out, it's going to be 13,500 to the credit side. So we see the balance up here in withdrawals, right? That's a debit balance. We're going to close it with a credit to the capital account. Okay, so to, to uh, close it into the capital account, it's going to be a debit there, and that will reduce our capital balance. Okay, and so because we withdrew some of it, basically, right, is the idea, leaving us with a total there of 48300 in our capital balance after the closing is done. So hopefully this helps, right? That's kind of the walkthrough. Um, this key, this part right here is key down here, this capital account. Um, really, the capital account is, is the a permanent account when we're talking about um, with this type of uh, business is a sole proprietorship, right? And so that capital account is the permanent account in uh, equity. And so after we close everything at the end of the year, that's the account that rolls over with a new updated balance into the new year and we start the new uh, accounting year over. And so that's, that's going to be kind of the rollover. Everything else is temporary just for, the, just for the, that accounting period. We're going to close it all out, zero the, zero the balances, and then start anew, afresh, right? Fresh in the new year. So anyways, hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to get a hold of me. Thanks. Bye.